Hi, my name is Jolie Boucher, and today I'm excited to share my Google Sheets plan book template with you. So I do have a cover page here, and I created this animated GIF at a website called Canva. So if you are unfamiliar with Canva, it is free for educators, and it allows you to create all sorts of images, infographics, headers, newsletters, anything your heart desires. It's awesome. So I added this animated GIF by going to insert image and I placed the image over cell. So I found you can only add animated GIFs if you add them, if you insert them over the cells. So here at the bottom are my four tabs. I have a cover page, a template for you to edit, an example, and the direction. So we're going to start with this template. I created this header at Canva. And once again, I went to insert image and I added it in the cell. So you can easily merge cells so they become one large cell by selecting your cells and going to format, merge cells. Now, I have five cells for each block of time. So for my 915 slot, I have five different cells. Here I can type in the name of the class the objective, procedure, assessment, and you must separate your links. You cannot have links included with text. So that's why I have a separate cell for each link. Now, my example shows you what it could look like once completed. So the dates are right here and you just double click and you can choose from the calendar. You can insert images. You can change your fonts and sizes right up here. You have your fonts and sizes and you can totally customize this. So if you want to remove some of these cells, you'll just right click and delete a row, delete a column, delete a cell. And once again, you can also merge. So I highlight and go to format merge cells and you could merge like so. And that would merge them. So you just have one cell. And if you make any mistakes, don't forget you have the handy undo button up in the top left corner. Now each week, I duplicate my template. So instead of recreating the wheel, I just click on a tab down below and I select duplicate. Once you do that, you can click right here and you can rename. So let's say you want to call this week one. And you can also color code your tabs. You can do that by going to change color and selecting a new color. And I also like to add emojis. So if I select rename, I'm on my MacBook. And if my Mac, my MacBook allows me to right click, select emojis, and I can choose from a variety of emojis to insert into my tabs here. So let's go ahead and I'm just going to put in a smiley face emoji. And that's what I do each week. I just duplicate the tab. So no need to recreate the wheel. And I always keep my current week up in the front. So you can click and drag and rename as needed. And there you go. So I love using Google Sheets because I can easily um, add my content, add the information I need for my lesson plans. I can click share and I can change editing permissions so I can add um, any, I can share this with my administrators or substitute teachers. I can also hide any um, tabs that I need to, so I could hide or protect the sheet here. So there are so many different options for you. Also, when I'm creating, it's so simple to delete any um, cells. And all you do, if I install the add-on called Crop Sheet, and let's say I only wanted to have this portion of my plan book included. I can just highlight, go to add-ons, crop sheet, and I can crop to my selection. And there you go. So there are so many different things you can do with your Google Sheets plan book. And I find it very easy to use. And it is a tool I've been using for the last two years. And that's my recommendation. So the link is included down below if you'd like to give it a shot. And please let me know how you are doing with your Google Sheets plan book. And if you came up with any new and excited, exciting, innovative ideas for um, the creation process. Have fun, everyone.